Are you struggling with print on demand? I want to take you through three different types of people that typically would be doing print on demand. And hopefully I want to help you try and get more sales depending on what category you fall into. Before I start, as I'm sure you know, I need to ask everyone to subscribe. This wouldn't be a YouTube video if I didn't ask you to subscribe and it's right over there. So hit that subscribe button. I make videos on print on demand, Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, all of these kind of things. So hit that button and let's just get cracking on with this video. Person one, we are going to name person one, Bob. Okay, so I'm Bob for now. Okay, just, just go with it. Okay, now Bob is really, really good at designing, okay? He is a professional designer. He is just so good at designing. What Bob will typically do will be designing every single day, all day, okay? He will be designing, 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 and when he isn't getting sales, he's going to blame his designs and eventually he's going to stop. Naughty Bob. Bob shouldn't be doing this, okay? Instead of Bob designing all day, okay? This is what Bob should be doing. Bob should be putting his designs on the right platforms and then doing the right marketing and the right promotions, not necessarily paid, it could still be free, but Bob should be doing the right promotions to make sure his designs are seen by the right people in order to get sales. Now, there are a few things to consider here. You need some form of niche and because you're an amazing designer, you don't need a crazy leveled niche, you know, dogs who like cats, who like ferrets, who like guinea pigs. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what's going on in my brain, but you don't need to have it so targeted. What you do need is you need some form of niche that could be an Instagram page or a Facebook page or a YouTube channel, something that is primarily based around that single niche. So it could be a niche on dogs and it can be just a broad niche or it could be a niche on cats. And it could be a broad niche. And that's absolutely fine because what is going to sell your designs for you is the complexity and the creativity and the the design aspect, that is what's gonna sell your designs, which is why you don't need to level down so much. Number two is what's gonna get you sales is the ability to be able to create breathtaking designs, not ads, okay? And that's another reason why number one, you didn't have to create level designs, okay? It's just your breathtaking designs are gonna get you your sales. Number three, in order to actually get sales, you need to build up an audience of people who are in love with your designs, okay? And you can do this on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and by building up a huge audience of people who really love your designs, it'll be a lot easier for you to get sales. Number four, you need to put your designs in the right place. Putting your designs on websites like Teespring is gonna be a waste of time. You need to put your designs on places like Redbubble and Merch by Amazon, places that get you free organic traffic. And I know a lot of people say the organic traffic isn't that good, but I've just seen such a huge array of good reviews on the organic traffic on Redbubble and Amazon. So if you are a designer, right, and you're, that's your thing, then you need to make sure your designs on Redbubble or Amazon Merch. Number five, along this journey, you will need to try and earn money because this is a very slow game. And especially as a designer, it's gonna be an even slower game for you. So you need to figure out ways to actually earn money. And well, what's this one thing you're great at? Creating designs. So along the, along the way, right, along the way of creating a um, print on demand business, what you could do is you could start selling your designs on Fiverr, you could start selling your designs on 99designs, you could start selling your designs on Upwork, okay? But the point is you need to be making some form of money to, you know, stay afloat, stay living, stay buying whatever you need to buy, doing whatever you need to do whilst creating this print on demand business because it's gonna be a very slow game, this print on demand business. Okay, and if you have a job at the same time, then that's absolutely fine. You don't need to worry about number five. But if you don't have a job and your main focus is print on demand, then think about doing these other things. Now, number six, the final number. What you could do is, because you are so good at you know designing, you could think of a way to link up with someone who's amazing at marketing. And that's gonna lead us into our second guy who's going to be Sam, right? But let me just quickly finish at number six. You want to see if you can connect with someone who's amazing at marketing, and that way you're bringing the design aspect, they're bringing the marketing aspect, aspect, and together they will create incredible, or you guys will create incredible designs and marketing and everything, and it will just be brilliant, okay? You guys will just skyrocket. Person number two, we are going to name him Sam. He is a marketing expert. See the Lamborghini and the Ferrari and all of these kind of things? 
Okay, sorry, it's hugely stereotypical right there. But anyways, he is the marketing expert. This is the guy who is so damn good at marketing, he could literally sell ice to an Eskimo. The problem with Sam is he is just so good at marketing, but he sucks big time at designing, okay? And he sucks so big at designing that he'll create all of these designs and he'll market incredibly well, but he'll get no sales. And he won't know what to blame. Will he blame his marketing and test more methods or do this or do that? This is the issue, right? What's actually going on here is Sam is creating terrible, terrible designs. And no matter how good his marketing is, people do not want to buy such terrible designs. Well, firstly, let me just stress one point. If Sam is actually this good at marketing, he probably will be able to sell semi rubbish designs, right? And he probably won't have that much trouble selling designs, even if they are just a bit bad. However, however, we're talking about trying to sell a lot of designs, get a lot of money. So I've got another six things that Sam could be doing to, you know, help him with his business. So again, are you so far the marketing guy or are you the designer guy? We're gonna find out at the end of this video. Number one, Sam should make sure he focuses on text only designs or mainly text only designs with maybe a few images and he should focus 100% on levels. So unlike the designer guy, Sam is a marketing guy and he should focus on levels like coffee and dogs, dads, okay? That should be your focus. Number two, you should be doing a considerable amount of research on designs, okay? Train your brain to figure out what is a good design and what is a bad design. You want to kind of get semi-decent at creating basic designs. Number three, and this is just something you should be doing, is use a teeny tiny bit of that marketing budget to pay someone to create a design for you. So rather than spend 150 pounds or dollars on a rubbish design, spend 140 on the design on, on, on the marketing and spend that 10 on the actual design. Pay someone on five or upwork, doesn't matter where. Number four, stick to platforms like Shopify, maybe Teespring, but more on the Shopify side because you are a marketer. So you need something where you can fully customize the landing page, add whatever images you wanna add, add whatever copy you wanna add, you know, make the whole website around your marketing brain. Okay, so this is the type of thing you, sh you should do. And because you're gonna be paying for ads because you're a marketing expert, it makes sense to send that traffic to your own Shopify website, not to Redbubble or Amazon Merch or Teespring or anything like that. Number five, if your, say, if your t-shirt isn't getting sales, move on quickly. You are an excellent marketer, so the chances are the ad probably is absolutely fine and it's more the t-shirt that the reason you're not getting any sales. So again, if you're not getting sales, move on quickly, try a new shirt. Number six is gonna be the same as Bob, and that is see if you can connect with someone who is an amazing designer and try and spark up a 50-50 kind of deal here where they create the designs and you create the marketing and all of that kind of stuff because that could be a really powerful uh, partnership right there. Now, the truth is, if I was Sam, and just to remind you, Sam is the marketing guy, if I was Sam, I wouldn't waste my time on print on demand. I would go straight into affiliate marketing, selling you know other people's tools and courses and programs, because if you are so good at marketing, you'll, you'll make a lot more money doing that, and it's a lot more long-term than actually doing print on demand. So maybe reconsider depending on who you are. Likewise with Bob, if I was such a good designer, right, and I'm talking such a brilliant designer, I might not waste my time on t-shirts. I might try and create real art and sell art to, you know, I would hustle, I would go to hotel chains, I would try and sell art like that, I would sell art through Instagram, I would try and do it that way. So I feel like you see where I'm going here. Bob and Sam probably aren't cut out for print on demand, and this is a huge reason why 99% of people actually fail with print on demand. I want you guys to do print on demand if you want to do it, but I also want you to know that there are so many other viable options out there that are just so good and can actually make more money than print on demand and that are easier than print on demand and quicker than print on demand. So I know a lot of you want to do print on demand and that's absolutely fine and I will continue to bring you content on print on demand if that is what you want. But I want everyone to realize that print on demand is very, very difficult. Okay, I'm talking very difficult. And even if you're like Bob and you're an amazing designer or you're like Sam and you're an amazing marketer, it's still going to be hard for you because it's just, 
you've, you've got to tick every single box to really, really hit home with print on demand. And this leads us onto our third and final person. And we're going to call him Tom. Okay, Tom is simple. Tom is neither good at design or marketing. So what do I say to Tom? Well, number one, I say either find someone who's good at design, good at marketing, bring them together. You can be the CEO and the overall manager kind of guy and you can run the show. Or number two, find another business, like a completely different business. I don't mean to be tough with Tom here. I just don't want to beat around the bush with you guys. I want you to know the difficulties and the hardships in creating a print on demand business, okay? I don't want you to think it's all super easy and anyone can do it. I'd rather just be honest and blunt with you so that you, you, you know what you should be doing. Now, I want you to ask yourself, are you Tom, the simple guy? Are you Bob? the design guy, or are you Sam, the marketing guy? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are neither of, if you, if you're none of these three people, then let me know down below why you love print on demand so much. I'm so interested to find out. I want everyone to be successful business owners. That is the point of my YouTube channel. That is the most important aspect here. I don't care what the business is, but I want you to be successful either in YouTube, you know, Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, print on demand, whatever it is, I just want you to be successful. And I don't want you to pick a business because everyone else is doing it and it's a hot trend and you want a piece of the pie. I want you to do a business that fits with you, fits with your lifestyle, fits with your abilities that you can do and be successful at. And that's why I wanna be here and I wanna help you with Amazon FBA, print on demand, YouTube, affiliate marketing, whatever it may be, okay? And that's why I wanna create these videos for you. So I just want you to know that print on demand isn't the only business out there and I want you to be successful and I wanna help you be successful, okay? So keep watching these videos and keep watching all different types of videos and pick a business that works with your lifestyle and works with your abilities. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope I was able to inspire some of you, maybe motivate you, get you guys moving. I really, really hope I was able to do that because that was the point of this video. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm sure you're gonna like this video up here where it's four different types of businesses you could start today. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So go and check that out. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.